Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 848. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 848 to 849, click on the link below the video. Hey, uh, we want to create an automatic list of dates from an input like December and the year 2011. So we want to be able to type any month and any year and, and just get the dates for one month. Now I'm actually going to add data validation to both of these cells so we can just select any month and any year. I'm going to come over here and type JAN, control enter, and then I'm going to grab the fill handle here with my angry rabbit and drag it to the side. It'll automatically increment all the way till December. All right, and now I'm going to come to this cell and I'm going to add data validation drop down list. Alt DL, Alt DL, and that popped up way over here. Uh, or you can find data validation on the data ribbon. I'm not going to accept any value. I'm going to accept a list, and the source is going to be in. I'm going to click right there and Control Shift right arrow. Click OK. Notice it says In Cell drop down. Now I'm going to type the year 2011 here, and now I'm going to point to the fill handle and hold the control key. Now when I click and drag, it'll increment that by one. So I'll go all the way to there. I mean, I'm just making a list of years. You can put whatever you want here. And then I'm going to Alt D L tab L tab. Click there, control shift right arrow. Click OK. And so now I should have a drop down where I can select any particular month I want and year. Now I need the from here, I need to get the first day in the month and uh, the last day in the month. I'm going to use the date function, D-A-T. It's great. You just type in your name and who you want to go out with, and you get a date. Oh, no, no. It, you give it a year, a month, a day, and it gives you a serial number, which is what a date is in Excel. So year, I'm going to click right there. Comma. Now, the only trick here, this month needs to be the number 1 to 12. So I'm going to do a little trick here. I'm going to type month. Oops, that's moth. If I click right here, it will not work. That's text. That says serial number. But watch this. If I ampersand, which is the join symbol, and the number, that's uh, shift 7, and the number 1. Now, when I highlight this, by the way, this is a text string. And when I highlight it, I'm going to hit uh, the F9 key. Notice it evaluates to Feb 1. Well, the month function can interpret a text string written as Feb 1 as a month. And so that will do it. I'm going to Control Z to undo that. That'll give me, now when I highlight this, it'll give me, and hit the F9 key to evaluate, it gives me a 2. Control Z. All right, now the day is 1, because we always want the start. All right, so now whatever I put here, it automatically gives me the first of the month. Now, the end of the month, I'm going to use the EO e month function. And I'm going to put the start date while well, it's here. And the great thing about end of month is it can give me the end of this month, the end of next month, or even the end of last month, comma, zero. That means the end of this month. If I type 1, it'll give me the end of the month of next month. So when I type a 0 here, it'll automatically give me the end of February. This happens to be leap year, so this better pop out the 29th. And now with the start and end date, we can change this and see if it works. And sure enough, it works perfectly. Now we have these two dates, which are serial numbers. Now we can build our formula. And the trick to this formula is, right now we need to list 29. So I have a bunch of cells here going down to 31, exactly 31. And we need to sometimes show all the way down to the bottom, other times not. Like here, we need to show 29. So I'm going to use the if function. I'm going to say if rows, and I'm going to say a dollar sign 7 colon a7. Now, I'm sitting in cell A7, right? Rows says, how many rows are there from A7 colon A7? Well, that's 1. But since that's locked, that one's not, this will turn to 8 and then 9. So that gives me the numbers. This little formula element increments numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, as I copy down. Well, what do I want? I want when this gets to above 29. I need to show blank. So the logical test in the if, I'm going to say when this number incrementer is greater than, I need the 
actual number of the last day of the month, the day function will do that. So because that formula there is dynamic, it'll give me either 28, 29, 30, or 31. When I uh, highlight and hit the F9 key, you can see that gives me 29. Now right now, rows gives me 1. So when this finally gets above 29, what do we want? That means that this part of the log this logical test will give me true only when it's above 29. Well, what I want to show? Nothing. So the value of true is double quote, double quote. That's a null text string that will show nothing in the cell. Otherwise, if it's false, meaning 1, 2, 3, 4, et cetera, is less than the end of the month, I want to do the actual part of the formula that generates the dates. I'm going to say the start date and F4. I need to add 1 as I go down, so I'm going to plus and add this little number incrementer. Now check this out. Right now, that wouldn't work. 2, 1 plus 1 would give me 2, 2. So I subtract 1. That's just so that I get 0 in the first cell, but when I get down to the next one, it's 1, and then 2, and then 3. Close parentheses, Control Enter, copy it down. Oh, what did I do wrong there? Oh, I forgot to lock the day. There we go. F4. I'm going to lock the row reference. Now, I've already have formulas in there, and they're incorrect, so I'm going to double click and send it down. All right. And sure enough, there's the 29th. Let's check it out. Let's go to uh, 2014. That's not a leap year, and sure enough, it's 28. So that's our dynamic formula. So anytime we type in whatever month, or from the drop down, select any month, any year. We get our list of dates. All right, so we saw some data validation. We saw this cool trick with the month function here to get the actual number representing a text string. We saw end of month, and then we saw a formula for creating a list of dates in any given month. All right, see you next trick.